Get a decent meal into me today, finally. Um, Naomi's arm. Um, um, I cleaned these thingies up and I found them way up the top there and uh, they had absolute just gunk all over them and I got this, um, this brushy thing here and I've been scrubbing away. They've got sort of like whatever stains on them. I could clean up a bit better, that's for sure. Um, but, uh, yeah, um, I don't know, these are really old, and they've got a few chips and sort of little bits of cracking in them, so, but, uh, obviously they're real old stuff, I don't know, I don't know what, that, that's not a reto, is it? Um, no, uh, I don't know if that's even going to focus. Yes. Um, but yeah, uh, they kind of look like boats, <laughs> don't they? Um, sort of like boats out on the ocean there. But no, I couldn't find any with, um, a chap, like, fishing in them or, you know, a chap on a boat or whatever. And, um, I don't know, you'd probably need ten years of hunting in here <laughs> to, to see. Uh, but, well, Australian Post has only really got sea freight right now so um but if, if you want them they're yeah real old real old pieces aren't they i just found them right up the top there i was like oh i just happened to look in this box right here and um and um fished out these things and they had all mud and dirt all over them and and uh so you know, you know how it works. And sometimes uh, you buy something and they just chuck in all this other stuff, and you never really look at it. Um, there's plenty of that. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you wanted them. Yeah, I'm gonna do the freebies. But um, yeah, sea freight—that's the only real option. So uh, I don't know. I'll I'll put them over there. Um, if the English chaps. Um, watching, uh, I did manage to eventually find this, this wild board, um, and I've taken all the legs out and I've put, the, the original markings, you can kind of see them, but I've, I've, uh, I've got the pencil mark, and there's a three there, and a two there, and a one there, and a four there, they're all in the up position, and, alright, there's a four there, so, there's an original mark, Right there, um, and original marks, but the original marks are a little bit difficult to. Hang on, on that side. Um, yeah, the original marks are so a little bit difficult to make out. Um, but yeah, that'll be easy enough to plonk them all back in. But they they are loose, as you can see. You know, it's all that's um, real deal, old school. Yeah, oh, it's glad to hear from you. Anyways, now I'm saying um. Yeah, you know, uh, yeah, keep in contact and maybe you can sort of help me out with some of this, these hieroglyphics. <laughs> yeah, oh, I have no idea what I, no idea what's what, where it is and all that stuff. Who knows? Who knows? Um, yeah, all kinds of really cool little size of that in that wall. So, um, that's a, um, you know, bonsai base from right there. Who knows? You know, but as I said, I think most of those sort of smaller cups that I had, you know, the sake cups and stuff, were um, the military stuff. A little bit chippy, you know, but uh, the beauty of it is they're, they're really old. Hmm. hmm. Don't know. But I don't know. They look like boats, don't they? Well, that's definitely water. Yeah, they're, they're sort of an artist's impression of the boat. Maybe it was just a shit artist. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Right. Uh, okay. I'm going to... I've got a lot of stuff I've got to do. Yes. I'm going to pack that. That beast right there. And then put them in a separate thing. Oh, I've got stuff to do. Anyways. Um. Yeah. Keep in contact. And, um, you know, keep your chin up. 
Uh, shit's gonna get better. Um, I hear, well, see, Sydney's even worse than Melbourne currently because they, uh, if you fly into Sydney, they throw you into a, a hotel out of the goodness of their hearts for six weeks and then they make you pay three grand. Hey, <laughs> eh? Yeah. Talking about a revolution now. Yeah, but uh, Melbourne, hey, like you've been saying, I've been, um, like you said, you know, you've got to have some kind of uh, card or something, to, you know, some kind of Spesnes card or something, Stasi card, so you can go to work or whatever, that bullshit. Um, <laughs> it's just, it's, it's, what? We are being controlled. Um, yeah, isn't that just wonderful? I can't even get to Australia. That's how bad it was. I just figured it's so bad. I've got to go. I've got to get out of here. And um, I'm going to starve. And um, um, there's bastards out there that's just selling tickets that don't exactly exist. And then they contact you two days later and say, oh, we need a bit more dough because this connecting flight doesn't go there. All oh, right, and then give a bit more dough. Then they come back two days later and they want more. Yeah, so they stole 1500 US dollars off me. I could have used that. <laughs> gotta just fucking keep trying to fight just keep fighting uh, i've been watching uh, a bloke called Avi yemeni and uh he's an australian jewish guy he's very cool he's very aware like a real woke you know and uh he goes around to these protests and stuff and talks to people and says, hey well, you know about that and he's about uh, tr news tommy robinson news and He's uh, someone I've been following as far as um, getting information about Melbourne. Um, my supposed to be Victoria is supposed to be my state. I own it, and um, yeah, he's uh, he's sort of on the front lines. But they call him they call him a Nazi. <laughs> he's, he's fucking Jewish. <laughs> you know, you you can't help those that are indoctrinated. You just can't help them. You can't help them. It's just the way it is. Yep. Just hang in there, you'll be alright, and uh, we'll, all, we'll all just have to just keep up the good fight. That's the way it is. Okay, stay in touch. And yeah, that, that, I don't know, they, they, they put boats, but no fishing guy. Maybe you could just like draw a fishing guy on there, and there you go. <laughs>